Up North Live's Cody Bear sat down with former diplomat and counsel general of the United States, Jack Siegel. He joins us live from the Up North Live Content Center. Cody. Maya, in my conversation with Siegel, he told me that the violence in the Middle East is closer to a regional war than it is to a ceasefire. I think a ceasefire is just about dead. And I think the two-state solution, which is the uh, uh, desired outcome of the United States government, uh, is also uh, on uh, life support, if it, if it exists at all anymore. Jack Siegel knows firsthand the layers of concern when it comes to the Mideast crisis. Siegel is a retired senior U.S. diplomat who served at the U.S. Embassy in Israel. A ceasefire from the Israeli perspective now, after all the violence that's occurred in the last year, uh, sounds to like a, uh, they're letting the Palestinians and the Iran and Hezbollah off the hook. Israel uh, it sees this as an opportunity to go into southern Lebanon and enforce a UN Security Council resolution that was passed in 2006, which called for Hezbollah to withdraw its military structure north of the Latani River, which would be about 15 miles north of the, the border with Israel. That's the demand of the Israelis. Uh, the Hezbollah has shown no interest in doing that. And now you have Iran uh, taking the place of Hezbollah as the key player. Siegel says that all participants, including the United States, should be worried about full-blown war. A war in the Middle East is never good for anybody, including the participants. We are not a direct participant, but we are supporting our ally, Israel. Ultimately, Siegel says it's up to both Israel and Iran to find a solution. Israel must find a political solution that settles its dispute with the Palestinians and ultimately with Iran. But all such talks uh, involve two players at least. And uh, so far there's not been a lot of dialogue coming from the other side. There's been attack after attack. Siegel told me that the goal for the United States is still to have a ceasefire. But as long as the fighting continues, the U.S. will continue to aid Israel with intelligence, as that is where they work together the most. In the content center, Cody Bear, back to you.